。曼联客场一比一跟纽卡斯尔打平之后，社交媒体平台上的曼联球员都异常的安静，除了卡瓦尼发了两张他进球庆祝的照片之外，德赫亚发了一条状态说：“我们必须得好好把握这些得分的机会了，周四重新开始。”另外一边，纽卡斯尔呢是在比赛之后的二十四小时之内连发了十六条关于这场比赛的动态，还有一些球员在比心啊，球员在穿拉什福德的裆啊这样的照片。就连《卫报》也讽刺说，曼联下滑到了索尔斯克亚的水准。我不知道《卫报》的编辑还记不记得，索尔斯克亚带队打纽卡斯尔可是赢了四比一的。那么曼联的问题出在哪里呢？球迷对朗尼克又有什么样的看法呢？我们今天请到了英国的曼联球迷博主 Red Devil Studios 来谈谈他的看法。So Man United drew one one away against Newcastle. It was an abysmal display,、um, especially in the first half. What did you make of that game? <laughs> I, I, I think that's that. I think that's this. I was speechless. What's concerning is that. Both Norwich and Newcastle outplayed us. Yeah, that's very worrying. We're being outplayed by the bottom of the league. And and to be honest, if it was not for David de Gea,、um, we would we lose both games. A lot of the talks were about the attitude of the players. I mean, there were a lot of moaning towards each other on the pitch.、Mm. Do you think this is as big a problem as it is made out to be? Yeah, yeah, because because we can't blame the manager now, as in the ex-manager now. He's gone. He's not there. I don't blame Ragnick. I don't think it's him.、Um, but there are lots of senior players at United. You know, Ronaldo's there, Cavani's there, Maguire. There are a lot of players that are in that in that, in that team that are above the age of twenty six, twenty seven. They they should be in their prime now. You know, there's they, they, there's not much to learn, so they should be doing what they're doing, and they're not. Some other things. That we saw yesterday weren't tactical. They were pers- personal, in my opinion. Being able to pass a ball, being able to know when to pass a ball, you know, those aren't things in my mind. I think that you need a manager or any manager to 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 coach you. You should be able to do that automatically. And when you look at players, I'm going to call them out, like Marcus Rashford, sometimes James Sancho, Bruno, and so on, that were losing the ball, that weren't making the right pass when they should. That's not on the manager. That's on the players, and that the age can be making the correct decisions. His tactic, obviously, is what he used to play in his previous management roles. The problem、mm-hmm. with that four-two-two-two、uh, tactic was, was showing in the previous few games already.、Mm-hmm. Do you think he's being stubborn, sticking to that tactic? Any good manager, you know, has to have some flexibility. And although Ragnick has experience, you know, at the end of it, he still doesn't have any experience as a Premier League manager. And on top of that, Ragnick hasn't had a transfer window. He's not had a preseason. People need to keep the expectations low because the type of football he wants to implement, we don't know whether we have the players to do that and whether he has the time to base implement. And he said that himself. Really, the aim is to is to try and secure top four this season and and try and not make the season be a complete failure. I always think it's easier to come in and be a defensive coach than it is to be an attacking coach. And Ragnick is not a defensive coach. So it takes a lot more time to get to where you want to get to a Liverpool, for example, or even to get to a City with that possession. It does to say, you know what? Let's do a two, for example, and, and play three centre backs. Let's be more compact. That's easy to do. Sam Allardyce will do that all the time when he wants to keep players up. Just make the defence better, and they'll stay in the league. It's not difficult. But to build on that, that's the problem when you have to go out and especially against the、um, the tougher teams. You just touched on、uh, top four now. Teams like Tottenham and Arsenal, they're picking up points, but、mm. now Man United seem to be far from that at the moment. How、mm. how confident are you when you say top four? I'm not gonna lie. I am worried because of the form that Arsenal, Chelsea, and Spurs are in. However, form can change any time, and before you know it, that team is struggling. I mean, even today, Spurs I think drew against Southampton. I know typical Arsenal in that they will get a few, they might get a few injuries, and slowly but surely,、um, they don't get into a run of form after after they lose a few games. And I think the scary thing for United right now is the. We've not been in any run of form, like at all. Like we've not had a period where we won successive games on the bounce. We need to get some sort of run of form going, and we need to get that soon. United are looking to bring in a defensive midfielder. That's been、mm. talked about for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
I'll believe it until I see it. Let's put it that way. So I'll believe it until I see it. If, if I'm honest, at this point, I, I don't have an answer. At this point, anyone, anyone, our midfield is worth, according to the last two games, is worse than Norwich and Newcastle. Even Sean Longstaff at Newcastle yesterday was better than our midfield. So I'm at the point right now where I'm not really picky about who we get as a defensive midfielder. As long as we get a defensive midfielder and we get one soon, I don't care. <laughs> We're not in a position to sort of say that we should we should we should demand the best. Anything is better than midfield right now.